Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me tell you about a new free Mac utility made by me. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So as many of you know I'm a developer and usually I'm developing either web based games or game apps. But recently I've been working on a Mac utility and I just released it in the Mac App Store. So if you go to the App Store and then you search for Clip Tools you'll come up with my new app. It's absolutely free. There are no in-app purchases or ads or anything like that. After you download it and launch the app it will show up here in the menu bar. It does a ton of different things but its most basic functionality is a local text clip manager. So for instance here in Text Edit, if I were to select a word and use Command C to copy I would look up here and I would see what I copied listed there. I could copy more things and then look and see a history of what I've copied. If I then want to paste something somewhere I can select one of these items and it will paste it. So it extends your clipboard past just having one thing in the clipboard at a time. As you select more it puts more items here in a separate menu. But you can customize how many items appear at the main menu and how many items appear in more. And you can use modifier keys to get tons of other functionality. For instance the basic functionality for the clips here is to paste it in the current text location. But if you hold the Control key down you can see it will just copy to the clipboard. If you hold the Option key down you can see it will save it. So you could save an item like that and then find it in Saved Clips. And while you have a limited number of regular clips depending upon your settings the saved clips will remain there so you can keep something around that you know you're going to reuse. If you hold Shift and Control it will paste as plain text removing the formatting. If you use Shift and Option it will remove the item from the list and if you hold down Shift it will group paste. So if I select this one here it will paste that and all the ones above it. You can also paste a whole bunch of other things. For instance you could paste the current date or date and time and you can customize the format. You could paste sample lorem ipsum text like this. Everything in Clip Tools should work in any app where you can paste text. So if you wanted to paste the current time say in a numbers cell you could do that. And you could use something called Smart Clips. So Smart Clips look like this. There are bits of text that you add but you can put commands in them. For instance the Pick command allows you to pick from different options. So say I was composing an email message I could use this one here and it will prompt me to select one of these items and then it would paste in the Smart Clip with my selection. There's a ton of other things you can do like prompting for some text, inserting the date, or inserting one of these clips. A big part of Clip Tools is actually performing calculations. So you could use this item here and then type something like that and then it will paste the result at the current location. But you could also select some text and use Calculate Selection and it will calculate it and it will do complex things like this and even some functions like this. And then it keeps a list of previous calculations and you could paste past results. And there's a ton of other things you can do. For instance you can select some text and perform actions on it. Like for instance you can convert numbers to words like that. You can also change case in a variety of different ways including a customizable headline case. You can perform actions like stripping tags, removing extra spaces, even sorting lines of text in place. The settings include a lot of things that you can customize and the ability to set two global shortcuts. You can set one of them to activate the menu. So in this case I have Shift Command C set to activate the menu. Then I could use the keyboard shortcuts shown here to do something. So for instance to paste the time it's Shift Command T. So a quick Shift Command C to activate the menu and then Shift Command T will paste the time. You can select some text and then if you look here the Convert number to words is Shift Command W. So I can do Shift Command C, Shift Command W, and it'll convert the selected number to words. You can paste the previous clips, smart clips, use F keys for quick access, and you can perform calculations with the hotkey and then the keyboard shortcut as well. 
There's a full instruction manual for it available right here or you can just go to it right now before even downloading Clip Tools. And it goes into detail about how to use each and every thing. How modifiers work to change the commands. How to format the date and time insert functions. All the different things you can do with Smart Clips. What functions are supported with calculations. And how to configure it using settings. It's completely local and private. I kind of started developing it for myself and then expanded it to include my patrons and now everyone. I'm going to do more tutorials soon on how to get the most out of some of the functions like Smart Clips. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.